Go Ellsworth, brought to you by these proud community sponsors, Anita Hoffines. Dr. Mark Herzog. Hi, this is Carol Kratzer with the Ellsworth Canopolis Area Chamber of Commerce, and we are here doing our Did You Know segment with Marge Lawson. Hello, Marge. Hi. And we are at Kansas Originals, which is one of the true gems of Kansas. And you're going to tell us a little bit about how this whole thing got started. How did, how did Kansas Originals get started? Well, we started from a, a grassroots effort from a bunch of people that were just meeting together over in Lincoln County, and we had some from Ellsworth County that wanted to promote the area because there were so many uh, attractions and there were so many people that were making things out of their homes and had no place to sell them. So we contacted the uh, self-development of people of the Presbyterian Church and asked for a grant to get it started and, and we got one. That's where it started. And that was 25 years ago this year that oh, we wow. got that. Oh wow, congratulations. Oh, thank you. And we've, we've got the store going two years later and our foundation is, is the Post Rock Opportunities Foundation. We are a 501c3, and uh, we operate Kansas Originals here, and we have a, a very small location down by Topeka, and then we have a web catalog that people can buy from. And so, and we've been in business with this store for 23 years, so. And we're here today to just kind of highlight a few of your wonderful artists, but as you can see, if you look behind us, you see how large this place is, and it is amazing, and you want to come here and see it, and we're right off um, I-70, and it's exit... 206. 206, and... Um, on, on Highway 232. I, see, I get all those numbers mixed up. <laughs> I almost said 232. So it's, high, it's, it's exit 206 on Highway 232, and we're right off the exit. You can't miss it and you really, really want to come and see it. And what we're going to do today is we're going to continue talking about the um, Kansas Originals, but we're going to move from place to place so that you can see some of these amazing items that you can come get. And believe me, they are all reasonably priced, gorgeous, make wonderful gifts, and you even do gift baskets, yes, right? Yes, we do. We do gift They even baskets. do gift baskets, so you can tell them what you want in a basket, and they can make it for you and ship it to you. So, I mean, this is an amazing place. So come join us as we travel around and look at everything. So we've moved to the food section, as you can see. And one of the things you know about Kansas is we have some great cooks. And you have some jellies that you're gonna tell us a little bit about, right? Here, let right. me help you. Okay, well, we have some very unusual jellies that people won't find anywhere else that are made in Kansas. We have the dandelion jelly. We have wild shumac jelly. And a very popular jelly that everybody loves is our Sand Hill Plum Jelly. And we have 230 members that belong to our not-for-profit that we are selling their items. And one of them is uh, the Kansas Foods LLC, which is located right here in Wilson. And he makes our Sand Hill Plum Jelly. And he also makes some other things like relishes and, his, and some sauces, habanero sauces that are very popular. And this year was a great Sand Hill Plum year. I had a friend who lives over the hill from us who called me and said, can you get rid of them? He came <laughs> at Cowtown Days and said, can you get rid of Sand Hill Plums? And I said, I can figure it out. And I found two ladies, one made Sand Hill jelly and one's making wine out of it. Oh, so wow, that's great. Great things. Some, okay. of the, some of the other things that we have that people are really looking for and don't know where to get it is our elderberry concentrate. And all of our products are made or grown in Kansas. So this elderberry concentrate is something that we do sell. And another thing is the bee pollen. People are looking for bee pollen. And that also comes from 
uh, Wilson, and we sell bee pollen. We're not limited just to jellies, though, and, and things like that. We have all kinds of uh, mixes. We have Rabbit Creek mixes. We have like apple cider syrup. We have a lot of salsas. This is my favorite. Uh, that is wonderful. It's a it's sauerkraut great. made without vinegar, and it is delicious. so good. We have the, like, for example, the candied jalapenos that everybody loves, and a whole line of pickles, homemade noodles and popcorn. One of the other things we have is our uh, corn on the cob, which you pop right on the, it's popcorn on the cob, and you pop it right in, on the cob, put it in the microwave. You put it right like this. This is a good science project for kids, and then they get to eat it. It's got the little bag on it to put it in the microwave and pop it, and it comes out right on the cob. So that's a fun one. Another thing you have is you have some amazing mustards. Yes. You have pancake mixes and muffin mixes and I mean, you want it, she's got it. This is great. We have Uncle Dave's breading batter for fish too for the fishermen out there. So good food. We'll move to the next place. We've taken a few steps out of the food section and before we move on we want to remind everyone that yeah they have those wonderful jellies and things but they also have snack foods and homemade candies and I was at eyeing a fudge box before I got started this morning so don't forget those things also because we all have a sweet tooth and right now we're talking we're in front of some of the beautiful woodwork and we have you know things like the banded pencil holder and then these were really interesting these are, they sort of look like little bobbins, but this is a great thing for sewers. This is a single seam ripper and they have double seam rippers. And then the one that we couldn't get open earlier today, is, is it this one? Let's see, it's made out of antler and it's a knife if I can get it open. Well, it's a knife. It has a really sharp knife inside of it. But. My fingers are too clumsy. What are some of the other things? Oh, we have the little kaleidoscope eggs. If you look in there, you can see all the neat jewels on the bottom. Um, we also have some others, woodworking things in other places. We looked at um, some actual old wooden toys that kids can actually play right. with. And we have collectible wooden, uh, both farm machinery and automobiles. Beautiful, beautiful handmade. And then the wooden puzzles, I love the ones that yeah. hang on the wall. And we, ha yeah, we have a whole selection of new puzzles for kids that are made out of wood that are really neat. We have um, a whole line of military scroll work with all of the different uh, branches, Navy, of, branches, branches of the branches service. Of, right. <laughs> I bought my um, son uh, for Christmas this year. He hasn't gotten it yet. Um, the um, marine one for his house. Yes, we have them for all five branches. Yeah. So. And they are very popular. Um, also have wood shelves, wood, uh, a lot of different wood items. The wood, you mentioned the toys, and we have some that are to hang on the wall with the old uh, electrical. Oh, the condensers and things on yes, them. We'll have some so. pictures later. but And boxes that are made, designed for horse, like with horse designs on front, all kinds of wood. We have a lot of wood. Beautiful, beautiful items. So now we've moved over to some of the limestone work that we have, gorgeous. We have little designs, we have bookmarks with painted pictures. There's a lovely cross over here I'm going to grab. And um, these things are very indicative of the Wilson area because it is post rock country. Right. And um, these are made this way. But you also have a young man who is making the name rocks and, mm -hmm. and things that we see around that are so um, popular. So you can get all of this here. And it's very, very reasonable. I mean, this is under $25, right. so, you know, yeah. very reasonable. 
Look at my back as I put it back. The sunflowers, the barns. Right around the corner is a really neat picture frame that people can put pictures in made. That one's made over at Lucas, Kansas, right close to our area. <clears throat> and down here on the bottom, these are all desk pieces to set on your desk. Or uh, We also have the larger stones that go in the garden. I guess I should show the, the other <laughs> one too. Be fair equal here. time, equal time. <laughs> Let me see if there's anything on the back that's different. Uh, so more wonderful things. And all very, very reasonable. Great gifts, birthdays, anniversaries, Christmas, just because you love them. <laughs> And a lot of people that are traveling like to get them as thank you gifts for the people at home that have taken care of their house while they were gone or their dog. And or a memory of the trip. Or right. So now we've moved over and we're standing next to a display of wheat weaving. And we were just talking about this beautiful piece. And you want to explain how they get the black part on the wheat? Well, the black part is called black bearded wheat, and it's actually grown that way. It's probably not very common, but when they use it, it makes a beautiful piece. Uh, we have the black bearded wheat windmill here and with the little owl on it that even has black beard inside of it. Uh, we also have other pieces. The wheat weaving makes a wonderful gift for a wedding or somebody that likes something that is really handmade in Kansas that is exceptional. And each one of those is truly unique. Right, all, all of our items are handmade individually one at a time. So even though there might be similar ones, they're all individually handmade. And then over here we have, well this is my favorite, can I pick it up? I'm afraid yes, to pick it up. You can pick it up. This is my favorite piece in the whole place, and I'm in the process of designing a kitchen around it. But you want to explain what she does here? Well, she hand cuts out each little piece of that sunflower, and then it's hand painted and fired. It's made out of uh, ceramic in a kiln, and she does all of her own pouring and firing and painting each piece. She has, I'll, I can get another one here. She has the little tiny vase that is pretty. Uh, there's the little tree ornaments or ornaments that you can just hang up for the on a little ornament stand all year round that she does. She has piggy banks and she has um, wind chimes. These are her, we, she calls them cone, cone bells and they come out like that. Oh wow. So. And then above here we have some hand throne pottery. This is a little apple bowl and some with the wheat design now in it. Now this lady, uh, she actually puts the wheat impression in her. Hers is wheel throne and it's uh, got wheat in it. She has it with leaves in it and she also has sayings on them and it sometimes like this is on the outside is pushed out and this is indented she is very popular, uh, what all she does. This is one, yeah, that red one is really pretty. And it's a bowl, or it can be sat on a stand to show. She also does some just plaques that you can sit around with like a weed impression in them. Each one is fired and painted. And then down here we have some dolls and doll dresses. And then back here we have some beautiful Paintings, you want to talk about the paintings for a minute? Well, each one of those are hand-painted originals that are on the wall. She also does some prints, but the thing that is so, she does that I don't know of anyone else that does, is she hand-paints the cover of a photo on a little photo album, and when you open the album, it's an original picture. Each one is an original, and then you have the place in there for all your photos, and we sell a lot of those for gifts, and. People can even put their photos in and give them as a gift for their family. Really? And that's she amazing. Has, she features 
all stone post country, the old barns, the windmill, and stone posts, churches, all into her paintings, and it's all from this area. More amazing stuff. Let's keep looking. Now as we go into a new section, people don't realize how truly big this is, yeah. we, have, um, we have a couple of other sections that we haven't even talked about yet. Um, one is the hospitality room, and in there you serve snacks and show some of the area movies, right. information about the areas. Right, information. We, we also have the t-shirt room which right. is wall-to-wall t-shirts, and they're all about Kansas, and they're all made in Kansas, so that's a great thing. And we've now walked into this next big area, and right now we're standing in front of one of your artists of the month. Right. And there's a different artist every month, and this is Peter Clark, and he makes birdhouses. Right, and he, he has an engineering degree, and he engineers his birdhouses to fit certain kinds of birds. So, and he has a, such a wide variety of them. And they are all so unique. You see this one here, and he's used like wood with little holes, so maybe it's for a woodpecker, I don't know. And then this one, you actually have a little thing so you can get in and see the inside of the, you know, help the bird clean it out or whatever after the season. And you know, if I can get it redone. Okay. We'll just leave it there. For <laughs> And then we're standing here, and we have some beautiful quilted table runners. Right, and some baby quilts. Yeah, we feature baby quilts and, and pillows. We have, a, a, over there we have a, purses, different kinds of bags to use. Well, let's go this way. Some purses, oh, this is cool. Quilted purse with the pockets inside. Little ones, bigger ones. We also have hanging here that is really, really cute. Let me see if I can get this off of here. Is an apron that made out of the Western jeans and then hands then stitched. Have little To pockets. give your little chefs so they can cook with Nana. And we also have some for the for the bigger ladies too. So, so that'd be cool. You get Nana and, and her granddaughter a, a, a apron to match. An apron to match. And then right here we have some beautiful photographs of Kansas. And then if we keep going this way, we have the woodwork that we talked about earlier of the different branches of the service. And here's the marine one that I bought my son. That's so beautiful. And then we also have, whoops, as I killed a turkey for Thanksgiving. We have beautiful on the wall hooks and things with the connectors and the insulators, insulators that we talked about earlier. Um, all of our artists are, many of them are, just like the lady that's doing the military, are in their 60s, 70s, 80s. It's all hand done by these people that learned this skill years ago and, and have carried it forward. And I've always impressed with the fact that she's in her late 70s and making all that scroll work at that age. And it's just amazing. I know when we went to the state fair today, we looked at scroll saws and John was talking about it. We said, yeah, but if you got it, it would be mine. Because <laughs> <laughs> so. that's something I've... You know, that or making the bowls out of the lathe, or like two of the things. Those are on my bucket list list to be things to do. Yeah. So. We, we also have a, a lot of artwork on the walls, uh, different artists from all over this state that we feature, and their work is on display, and we have, have them in bins, and, and that's one of the attractions that people come just to look at the work. People really need to artists. come to get a feel of all the stuff that we have. Here. Right. We could never talk about all of it. It's no, just it would be three days. Okay, we've moved from the little quilted items to some of the big, beautiful 
quilts. I love this one in the reds and the blues. And then we have a wide variety, all hand pieced, all quilted, some hand quilted, some machine quilted, right? Right. We have the KU one. I love the sunflower one. This is just gorgeous. And we even go all the way down to some of the warmer ones to. Those are all hand pieced de uh, denim, or I won't say they're hand pieced, they're machine pieced, but they're all made all, out of denim jeans. All different jeans. With the pockets, a lot of them have the pockets on them yet for decoration. And then down here we have the beautiful crocheted, crocheted rugs. rugs, the rag rugs. They're just and she has just every color imaginable. She's recovering from shoulder replacement surgery and just got back into doing it again, so we're thrilled to have a large selection from her. And then right across from us we have placemats that are all actually gorgeous, that you can get sets of placemats. Of course, not many people still use placemats, yeah. but beautiful items. As we walked over here, you'll see I'm holding toys in my hand. I found this gorgeous roll top desk, all handmade with the little chair that actually swivels and rocks. And the desk actually closes and opens. Oops and the drawers actually move. So, you know, we've talked about the beautiful woodwork. I may have to take this one home with me. But right now, we are in the book section, which is also another one of my favorite places. And we have so much information about Kansas and the area. You wanna talk a little bit about this book section? Well, a lot of our books are written by artists or by authors from Kansas and Many of them, they, they write one book on a family history or a perspective of something, like we have the stories of World War II written by the Mc, from McPherson by the Smoky Valley writers, or we have I'm Praying for You, a story of in the love letters to a death camp during World War II. We have a, history books that are history that you just don't find anywhere else. A lot of these authors let us know they have the books and we put them out. A lot of them are area and all of them are Kansas. On the other side of our book, we have the Kansas geography, geology, the post-rock books telling about the area or all of the things that are just germane to Kansas. And then on this side, we do a lot of the cowboy history, the rooted in the dust from the, the dust bowl. We have a section of children's books that are for, written for children. And then we have a section of cookbooks and another section on train history and, and travel guides. The travel guides along with, we have a few of our note cards in here. We have a lot of Kansas note cards that people can buy to send a message with a Kansas picture on it. And we have only looked at the tip of this iceberg that is called Kansas Originals. This is an amazing place. We have amazing artists in this state. We have amazing cooks in this state. And this really celebrates all of Kansas's heritage. And this is a jewel that we need to keep going. And the only way to do that is to have you come here and see it, or go to our website and see it, and buy our stuff. And honestly, this stuff is amazingly inexpensive for amazing work. So if you need a weekend drive, come on down. Kansas Originals, open seven days a week, just off I-70, Highway 232, exit 206. Come visit. Go Ellsworth. Brought to you by these proud community sponsors, Anita Hoffines. Dr. Mark Herzog.